I'll admit, it might be a little easier with a second person, but hey, what's a real DIY van build if you're not doing it yourself? And welcome back. Another DIY van build with Dares Drives, my friends. In this episode, we're putting our headliner back in and we're gonna put that shelf up that we built last week. Make sense? This is gonna happen pretty fast, my friends. Shoot a tight squeeze. You can see it kind of just slides right into place once you get it above those airbag holders. Drop her down in and just find your clip. Once you find one, they should all pretty much line up and clip those bad boys in. Just like that. Now, we're gonna get this up. Come on, pop in, baby. Well, this isn't what it promised me to be. Come on. I see what's going on. So, the reason why that wasn't working Looks like these little front clips are only hot glued on. And it looks like it didn't hold up. Let me take care of that. Woo! Okay, so seeing this fighting me, I've decided to do it a different way. I'll put the clips into the headliner now, line them up with the hole, and we'll get her done that way. Watch this. So now, I can let those front clips slide right in. Okay, put them both in. And line these bad boys up. Oh, we got headrest in in like seconds. That's the way to do it, peeps. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. All right, bolt time. So now, we just gotta clip these airbags back up over top of here with those clips. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the headliner will fit into this groove of this rail here. You'll know when you're clipped on because your bolt holes will line right up. Then it's time for this to go back on. One bolt at the top, two clips. We'll bring you that way. Bear with me, this is my first time too. I'm just basically going to fit it down into the grooves that are down in there. Make sure it's not pinching the airbag any anywhere. Now if this threads in, you guys are gonna start thinking I know what I'm doing. That's scary. <laughs> Without even trying, peeps. See what I'm saying? You never even know I touched that. Everything's back in place. We're golden. I also did unclip the speaker from down below. Pop that back in place and do the same to the other side. You can't see nothing, you're staring at my back here. Our first bracket, it's all part of the coat hook. So we're gonna line this up. This is gonna slide in behind here. And we're gonna try and get everything to go through the same hole. So I'm not gonna tighten it right down all the way right now, but you'll see after it's done, then your coat hook goes on there and it looks totally stock. And our front little bracket is where the sun visor goes. This will just clip up into here, just to hold it in place. The bracket is the small one this time. And we're gonna go to this, this guy right here. So I'm pretty sure this is what Sean's coming to look at today. Can you see that okay? Here, put you there and zoom into you. So I'm feeling this is what he's coming to look at here. You see the bend's not quite right back you back out leave that a little loose until I make sure that shelf fits properly Woohoo! 
we have a visor in. So now we're just gonna repeat those steps on this side, and I'll cut back in when I bring the shelf in. Up top. Up top. Bracket over. Bracket over. I love the match too. Yes! Check it or wreck it, peeps! It's happening. We got the owner of Van Sillier at our house. What? Oh, dude, he's got a sprinter here too. Nice. Check out his unit, man. What is going on, Sean? Nice unit, bud. Good to meet you. You are not messing around. I needed to be done, my friend. I'm sorry, like the van, yeah, but wow, this is community. <laughs> We're continually trying to improve the product, right? Which is mm -hmm. why I'm here to mm -hmm. just see how it all went. We made these brackets adjustable in height because the paper template comes, not everybody gets um, like the cut right the first time, like they're on the wrong side of the line or they make a little whatever. The idea is, is that you can adjust the height, right? Because it's yep. all tapering in around all angles. So you can just like push it up at the very end and snug it in on all corners, right? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of adjustability. What I'm hoping to do leave here today is to actually help like get this set up or at least, you know, get it in a place where it's perfect to tighten it and finish the install, but then leave with the proper measurements. Oh, I see, ones, okay. Just yeah. so that I can, I've, I've got some measurements from another customer and I just want to double confirm them myself. Okay. Before we go, go ahead, so. See, at Dare's Drives, we're part of the product design all of a sudden. Look at <laughs> the world. <laughs> I was gonna make my own brackets, just bend them. Yeah. And then measure out the shelf and all this. And for the hundred and some dollars it was, mm -hmm. no brainer, man. Absolute no brainer. Yeah. Like gold well, mine. I'm glad. Oh, come on, really, man. there's like maybe like five or more hours to be saved here. And so it's like, we've got an ISO manufacturer making these and they're like, they're insured and they're like, they're professionally done. And it's like, you, you don't want this to come down while you're driving. Yeah. So what do you think of my shelter that I built? It's, it's the best shelter that's ever been made. <laughs> <laughs> well designed. Somebody, somebody right. could have thought about doing, building a van. And then be like, well, I don't have anywhere to do it. And that's where it stops. Yep. Yeah. Or you can just build somewhere to do it. Right? <laughs> which well, is this is awesome. Yeah. It was great meeting you, my friend. Thanks for your time. Okay, so while Sean was here, we put the, the shelf all in and everything, but I realized I didn't actually record it very well. So what I've actually done is I've pulled it all back apart, taken the brackets off, I brought them into my garage because on the gray you could see the part number as well as it's shiny and didn't match either grays. So I actually sanded it down a little bit and spray glued it and put some of our fabric over top of them. So now they look like this. A little bit of carpet over top of them. We're ready to put that shelf back in. Let's do this. So now it's all in there. We just simply got to add our screws and our nuts that came with the kit. Myself, because I went with three quarter inch ply, I did have to go pick up some different screws. Now these are still 1024, same as what comes with the kit, but they're inch and a quarter long instead of one inch long, just to make up that quarter inch. Very straightforward. You have your screw, washer, through the piece, washer, and nylock nut. The same one that came with the kit. So to pierce the fabric I did put in, I'm gonna shove it up underneath. I know pretty much where my holes are. Look at that, so simple. And with this fabric, it actually gives a little bit of traction to your bolt. So you find, you actually have to thread it in before even putting the nut on. And once you've done that eight times all the way around, you're complete. And you have a shelf that looks kind of like this. Those covered brackets, it just all comes together all of a sudden. You can see how clean that looks. Love it. You're not gonna see the whole shelf on mine, nor are you gonna see the edges, but we'll get to that in time. And as we discussed with the top side, if you look inside here, now that I put some light up there, see how clean it looks? You can't even tell. And it fits around that front, front hump perfectly. I'm happy with what I did.
But that's it for this episode. I need to move forward to the next DIY van build. So we, we will see you next Sunday. Thanks for tuning in. Perfect.